what is up fam welcome back to leslie jones tarot so this reading here is for my virgo zodiac signs why is my candle not burning That's okay. we are going to see what you need to know for the month of november as far as love and relationships sorry guys i gotta get a new candle my candle just went out there we go perfect we're gonna see what is coming in for the month of november as far as love and relationships for you guys so let's dive in with the gilded royale deck guys and happy freaking halloween guys can't believe that october is like pretty much over it's crazy all right what's going on with virgo uh for november 2021 what's coming in as far as love what love messages do you have okay nine of wands is coming out what love messages do you have Page of Wands. Okay, so some of you could have been uh, waiting on some sort of message to come in. This is going to be good news coming towards you here with this Nine of Wands and the Page of Wands. Uh, this could be a situation where you were, because um, the Nine of Wands is like wounded warrior energy here. I feel like this is, um, whatever message this is that comes in, It it they're saying set you free. And it's kind of like you're going to feel like you're being set free. Like a, a weight has been lifted off of your shoulders. Yeah, Ten of Wands, bottom of the deck. There's a lot of overwhelmingness, a lot of burden here that you've been holding on to. And it's like once this message comes in, it, it automatically releases you. It like like you. They just said fight or flight. So it, it gives you like another opportunity to to get back up. OK, is what I'm feeling. Let's see. What else do you have? Love as far as love and relationships. We have the Ten of Cups. Wow. And the Hierophant. Wow. So. Yeah, Virgo, you definitely have a situation that's coming in that's going to be leading towards a higher level commitment here. Okay, uh, the Seven of Swords is on the bottom of the deck. So um, they just said self-sabotage. So uh, a lot of you, I feel as though, and yes, yeah, King of Wands, that's why. King of Wands and the Seven of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, and the Three of Cups. This Y'all, I'm, I'm going to have to give the message that just came out. They gave me, a lot of you aren't going to trust this this um, message that comes in because of who it's coming from. You're going to feel like they're kind of lying or they're cheating or they're being deceptive or uh, they're not being honest. Like they're just coming in because of whatever reason, right? That's how I'm feeling. But I'm seeing them wanting to come in with this Ten of Cups and the Hierophant energy. Like this is high level commitment. This is like marriage. This is like moving in together, building a family, creating that family dynamic here. And it's like the, the universe is bringing you two together, like merging you two together with the Hierophant. But for some reason, I'm getting the energy that you don't trust this person as far as you can throw them. Okay, with this King of Wands. They could have been like a player in the past before here, or they really held back a lot when it came to this connection here with this Four of Pentacles. Or um, they were very stingy with their time or stingy with their energy here in some sort of way. But uh, they're, they're coming in as wanting this Ten of Cups and the Hierophant energy. Okay, what else? The Empress is coming out. And the Knight of Cups, yeah. They see you as the Empress here. They see you as the Empress. They see you as someone that has so much to offer. Like you're glowing and growing and you're creating like everything you touch grows. Okay. And they see that. And so now they're going to be coming in with this Knight of Cups energy, whining and dining you. And they're coming in fast. And it's because I feel as though you're going to be getting a lot of attention here with this Empress energy. Because I mean, if you look at the Empress, the Empress is very beautiful, very beautiful. Okay. And the Empress attracts whatever it is that she wants okay he or she wants okay it's a feminine energy but it can you can be male or female here but the empress attracts any and everything that they want and so like it's like you plant the seeds you let them grow you know you sit back you let them grow there so i feel like and i'm sorry guys i have on a tank top <laughs> um i feel like whoever this is they're coming in and they know they have to wine and dine you and woo you here with this knight of cups so they're really going to be coming in with this this first message which is the page of wands it's really to like grab your attention and get you um it's like it, it i'm feeling more of like it's what you've been waiting for like this is something you've been waiting for like i don't know if this is coming from this person um because that three of cups was there i don't know if they had to release a third party or if this person just wasn't ready at the time like 
when this message comes in, it's like it's it's lifting off of your shoulders and it's like, oh, finally, they they get it like they get it. OK, because we have the death card, you know, uh, ending new beginning, death and rebirth here. And it's like you've been. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Wow. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, the High Priestess, the Justice card, the Two of Cups, and the Four of Wands. Like, it's, it's destiny here. And the, the freaking star is destiny here. Like, this ha it's been written in the stars for you here. Like, this, it it's like the path has brought you two back together finally here. I'm sorry, guys. I keep looking down because my tank top keeps slipping. I tell you what. There we go. Like, it's, like, written in the stars. Like, this is meant to happen. Like, you guys are supposed to come back. Like, divine timing has been in work here with the situation here. Okay, so for some of you, I feel like you've been patient with this person. I don't ever encourage anyone to wait, okay, for someone to come in. You know, live your best life, do your thing. If you want to be single, enjoy yourself, for sure. But um, I feel like divine timing has come into play here. Like, this person could have had to learn a couple of things while you learned a few things as well. But I feel like this person is coming in at the right moment for you guys to create this abundance and this happiness here. Let's see. What else is coming towards uh, Virgo as far as love, relationships, feelings, and emotions? Let me check the time. Okay. Yeah. Honeymoon. Look. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Yeah, like this person, again, is going to be coming in as this Knight of Cups energy. And the Knight of Cups is very fancy. You know, they bring you the flowers. They want to wine and dine you. They want to take you out on dates. They want to do all the good things. If you look at the Knight of uh, Cups energy here, I think I said Knight of Pentacles. I meant to say Knight of Cups. I'm sorry. If you look at the Knight of Cu uh, Cups energy, you know, they're on this shiny horse, you know, and it's very elegant looking. You know, the water's there, so the emotions are there. The outdoor energy is there, you know. Very, a lot of groundedness, but it's also like about making a statement. You know, the horse is making a splash in the water here. So it's like making a splash and wanting to um, get your attention here. So I feel like this honeymoon phase, they're going to be doing everything right. Like every single thing, right? Taking you out on dates, buying you gifts, um, complimenting you. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. And again, at the beginning, I feel like a lot of you feel as though this person is full of shite <laughs> because I feel like this person did have either like some players types of ways or um, they weren't consistent, like they weren't ready to settle down or like, and I'm sorry about that, guys. Hold on. Sorry. They weren't consistent or they weren't like um, giving the, the taking it to the next level the way that you were wanting to. But they're definitely coming back here with that message. Okay, okay. let's get one more on the message. Yeah, make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you got it to take. Okay, so it's completely up to you if you want to take this person back again. Uh, some people don't like to go back to the past, and that's perfectly fine. Uh, it is your prerogative. We all have free will, so you can pick and choose how you want to. But I do see that this is a um, like a, a reconciliation or a past person coming back and returning here, and actually get bringing. Okay, bringing and and wanting. The exact thing that you've been wanting, okay, which is the Ten of Cups and the Hierophant, the high level commitment, the, the you know, moving in together, the next level type of energy here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Proposal, a romantic or business opportunity is indicated. See, there it is. And you also have the world card. Be open to new possibilities in all areas of your life. For a lot of you, this person had to go through some type of transformation here, okay? There was a some type of cycle that needed to end, could have been with the third party, or it could have just been a situation where they had to go through something in order to realize everything that they had in front of them, which is you, okay? Um, but I feel like some type of cycle has ended, and, you know, once one cycle ends, a new one begins. So um, that's what I feel is going on here. So this, I do see this person returning turning and wanting to do the right thing this time and build and create with you guys this time but again it's completely up to you you can pick and choose if you want to retry with this person or if not you leave them on red you know <laughs> but this is your reading of virgo i hope that this gives you some clarity and some insight i appreciate you guys so much for watching and we'll catch you guys in the next video bye guys